Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show Market Review. I'm reviewing the SPY here today. And the reason I'm reviewing the SPY is because it's going to hit a, a number that I called. I called months ago that the SPY was going to hit, and no one else was calling it. Uh, I really have to tip my hat to the way that I've accurately been calling this market. And as long as I stay in my own space to read gaps and price correctly, I will continue to do so and continue to to actually improve and get better. So I feel very blessed that I have a skill to trade the market and to read uh, the direction of this market, even when it's challenging, which it was and has been for many people this entire summer and actually for the entire year. I'm sure a lot of traders have had a choppy year trading. So let's just take a look at it. <clears throat> Uh, in the beginning of the year, when the market first opened, uh, we looked like we were going to pull in briefly. Okay, we're going all the way back. This is the first day of the calendar year. It was January 2nd. And it looked like we were going to take a little turn. Okay, we didn't really follow through with it. Okay, we did have uh, actually more bearish days in January than we did any month of the whole year, which is funny. So we started out the year with some red days in the market. They did not go anywhere significantly. And the market had a big rally in the month of February. Sidelined in March and April and then continued to lift. And all around in here, many people felt the market was getting toppy even here. But you can see here now, you can see this whole thing how it really wasn't doing it. Sometimes trends are, are stocks or the market, no, it doesn't matter what it is, will rest before they make another move in the direction of the original trend. And that's all that was happening there in March and April. Now, things can change trends, and they can do that in gaps. But I never saw that happen in any gap that was taking place in the market, not even the one that happened here. And there was a bearish gap that happened back in January 24th at the beginning of the year, okay? There was another bearish gap that happened here a couple, well, two weeks ago or so. This is the last day of July. Again, this was not a significant enough gap to even create a, a correction, okay? What I call a correction, I don't like to talk in those terms, but that's how people like to talk. Uh, it was not significant enough to do a correction in the market. And I said, if there was any pullback, it would be small, it would be one red day or a teeny weeny bit coming in and then rally. The market only came in slightly, just basically that one day, and held. And the SPY hit up over the high today in the minutes announcement. Again, I predicted that the SPY would rally in the minute announcements. I predicted that accurately today. And we rallied up to the next number, the next target, which was 199, and we booped a little bit over it. Now, I don't know where we got tomorrow morning, but we are definitely going to hit 200 in the SPY. And I said it months ago. I said it in May. I might have even said it in April. Uh, four months ago, I said it, though, for sure. And you can track back on the videos. And the reality is that I... Really, 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 really know how to read price. And I'm predicting things in advance, uh, which is really very fortunate for me, the people that are trading with me, actually. So I talked about this in the trading room today. What I realized that people, why they like to do reversals is because they miss the move. What happens is in day trading, I was having a conversation with someone yesterday and it just dawned on me, and I, people just love, love to do reversals. And I've never understood why. But it dawned on me yesterday as I was having a conversation with a prospective client that he was telling me he's been doing reversals and he loses. And he was telling me he does reversals because he does not like to take a trade between 9.30 and 10. And so he waits till after 10 to look for a setup or a trade. And then by that time, sometimes the trades have already gone to the target or have made 75 to 80% of the move. And so then he's looking for a setup in something after 10, and it either fails or it doesn't work. And he sees that he missed the trend of the move, so he decides to do a reversal so that he can make money doing something, anything. And by the way, that's what the same thing's going to play out here with this market, okay? Here, you can, you're hearing it now. The same thing's going to play out here with this market. Now, not as a day trade, but I'm talking about as a longer term here because what is what is setting up and what is still setting up is that people did not, I predicted this. I predicted the market would continue to make new highs and it's going to continue to rally and would hit these numbers. I predicted this and I'm predicting more, but people did not. And so what is going to happen here is people thought we were too extended and we needed a correction. We didn't. We don't need a correction. We don't need to ever do a correction ever. Now, I'm not saying we're not going to have pull-ins, but there's no, we don't have to do anything. We don't have to do a correction. Actually, we don't even have to pull in. I mean, stocks do do that. 
But I'm just saying we could rally 10 days in a row without doing a pull-in. I mean, there's no set parameters, by the way, okay? Look at the rally that happened here. Look at the rally that happened here, okay? Anyways, going back to what I was saying, what's going to play out here in this market, not as a day trade, or, or maybe people will day trade it, but for the longer term, people who did not buy because they thought that the market was going to come in, because they thought there was going to be a correction, because they thought that the market was too extended to buy, who did not even get in, are, are going to uh, miss this rally. They've already missed some of it. They're going to miss even more because we're not done. And they will still continue to make attempts here to short this market into what they think will be a reversal, pushing against itself the power that is actually making the market, that it's actually buying the market and lifting the market anyways. And then what's going to happen is that's going to happen again, okay? So then people are, are going to miss the correct directional bias, which is long. People will make an attempt to short. That already has happened several times in here. All of this in here, all of this in here, all of this in here. And then it's going to... It's going to happen again. And then eventually what's going to happen is people will finally give up on that, realize that they should be long the market, concerned they're going to miss it, knowing that they did miss a lot of it already, and then they will buy. And all of this, the shorts getting stopped out continually again, when people, because people are going to still do that now, thinking they've got to get a reversal because they're going to think they missed the bullish move, which they didn't. It's The market's still higher. You can still buy this here. And then they're eventually going to give up on it. And then they're eventually going to decide that they better get in and they're going to go long. And then by that time, well, that's what's going to create all of this and much, much more. And the buying is coming in already. The people that are creating the buying in the market is going to push the market to a crazy number that's going to happen uh, in, you know, in the next four to six months. So I'm predicting by the end of the year, but it could be six months out. But, you know, I, I still think we get to some crazy number in the, in the next, in the, by the end of the year. We are going to get to a crazy number. Whether it happens by December 31st or into January, we are going to, we're going to hit the 200 number here this year soon. Could be tomorrow. Who knows? Uh, could be next week. It's going to be before Labor Day, the way this is shaping up, unless anything happens like a bearish gap or some kind of news thing. But anyways... The market is going to go to some crazy number that no one's ever even putting out there. Could be 250 in the spot, and it could happen like that. Like this rally that we've had now in the market since, since the dip down, okay, since the dip was 173. So if you take from the dip, this is in uh, February, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, seven months, we've rallied 25. Okay, so what I'm saying for us to rally up 50 in a, in a shorter time than that or close to it would be double the move in a shorter time than that or same. It's either going to be same time, double the move or shorter. So this is, this is what I'm saying. It's going to far, it's going to just fly like the Dickens. Okay, so again, I've been saying this in many different videos too now for a while when as soon as I saw it, that the market's going to go to some crazy number that no one's even predicted. And some people think this is a crazy number now. Some people think this is such a crazy number now that we're going to hit 200 that people are going to think that we're going to come in. And that's crazy, okay? The market is rallying. But it's going to kind of play out the way that I said, which is going to create more of the, of the rally, the way that I just kind of described it, what's going on with people. So anyways, this, this perception that people, people miss moves, so then they want to do the reversal. But they know that the real move was there in that direction, and then they decide to do the reversal anyways. Do you see how that doesn't make any sense? So, so their brain, that person's brain knows that they should have been long, for example. I'm just going to use this example here. That person knows that they should have been long. They wanted to go long. They wish they were long. They were, they are salivating at not being long and the money they could have made if they had gone long, if they had known to go long. And yet they decide to do a reversal and go short just because they're desperate to make money and they realize they missed the long. But in their mind, their brain reads the chart and knows that it was a good long and they missed it. And so they short, but it's not a good short. It's not a good short. It's a reversal. It's against the trend. It's not a good short. And they're shorting anyways out of desperation to make money. Don't ever trade out of desperation for any reason at all. You are trading a quality trade in the correct directional bias based on your strategy, which if you don't have one, you need one. And I teach one, which is gaps. And that is how I'm able to figure this stuff out. And by the way, I'm able to figure out the day trades and see things in the longer term pattern. Why? Because I'm reading the gaps. The gaps help me trade for day trades and to see longer term patterns. And there is nothing more powerful that exists in the market as a strategy. And I'm so just grateful that I know how to do this. I, I know how to read gaps better than anyone. 
And I just really, 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 really grateful that I figured this stuff out. So expect the market to hit up over 200. Expect the market to go to some crazy number. It could happen, the crazy number I'm talking about, between now and the end of the year. It really, really could. We'll have to see how the fall turns out. I'll know in the fall as we trade if we're going to hit it before the end of the year. It's looking very likely now because this is early. This is We are hitting a, a crazy number of 200 now we're going to hit. In August, when people are on vacation, off, not even trading in low volume in the market. So guess what? That is a sign of bullishness. That is a sign. It's a sign. It's a sign of strength in the market. All this is happening without even the big players. Guess what's going to happen when they get back into town, ready to roll into the fall and make money? I'm telling you, you have not seen anything yet for this market. And it's going to make probably double the move in the same time or less. So there you have it. Have a great night, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. The next Golden Gap class is this weekend, August 23rd and 24th. And if you want to learn how to trade and make money during fall trading season, fourth quarter earnings season. This is the last class this weekend I'm doing before the fourth quarter starts. So you've got to take the class this weekend to be in the live trading room, uh, to join the room as a member to get my calls. Uh, it's going to be a good, strong, solid fall. I am calling things extremely well. My eye is honed in on these things. And again, it is extremely important to train yourself to, to learn how to read charts and price accurately. And I am teaching people how to do it. I'm teaching people how to do it. So email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information. Have a fantastic evening, everyone.